basketball. I'll share a few thoughts with you about basketball. Uh, there isn't a day go by when players don't teach me something about basketball. That, that's where the game is, okay? It's coach and player. And, and, and we can have a fun experience. Uh, you have a very challenging job. You have 45 minutes of practice time, maybe in a small space. Okay, that's why it's important for uh, you to be organized. And hopefully when we talk a little bit about uh, some offensive drills today, you can incorporate those into what your team offense is going to be. Because I guarantee you, uh, your team offense, uh, the first game in the first two minutes, your team offense, no matter how much you run plays, the ball's going to end up right here, and there's going to be 10 players right here in this corner. Okay? And you're going to be saying, set it up. Okay, so hopefully some of the offensive things that we talked to you today can be incorporated in what you want to do in basketball. Um, yeah, it's nice to have, a, have some plays, and if you have a player or two that you know can score, then you need to get them in a position where they're going to score. But everybody during the season has to improve their offensive skills. Uh, I'm so glad that Harry asked me to speak this morning on offensive skills because if he'd asked me last weekend on offensive skills when we only scored 38 points, I would have been not, quote, the expert. Last night we not scored 97 points. Hey, I'm glad I shot 58%. I'm glad to talk about offense this morning. It's a good thing he asked me to talk about defense last week either. We weren't very good playing defensively. Okay. But our game is going to be the same. Our players are going to be the same. What did we do different last night than we did last weekend before? Not much. We still are going to be very offensive, fundamentally sound. That's number one. Say, I, I don't know what your thought process is. What, why, why are you doing this? Okay. Number one, it should be for the love of this sport. It doesn't make any difference whether I, I have this nice facility with all this room and I have 16 players to work with and you have 45 minutes, one, one practice a week, maybe sometimes you get two, okay, and play on Saturday. It's how organized we are. It doesn't do us any good to rationale, okay, we just need to do with what we have. It's very, it's very easy for us to say, gee, I only have 45 minutes, we can't do this, we can't do that. You have 45 minutes. And you have these people to work with. What a great opportunity. What a great opportunity. And how important it is for them. When we open the sports page more, there's a guy on the page, green hair. What kind of role model is that? What kind of role model is that for youth today? Hey, we have lost the essence of, quote, sport. You have a chance to teach them sport. It's not what they see on TV, a push and shove and taunt and all the other stuff. That's not sport. I don't know what it's become, but let's all of us be committed for this season as coaches, no matter what our level is, college, high school, third grade, let's teach sport. Okay, that ought to be your number one thing, your goal for this season as a coach. Teach sport and teach them how to be sportsmen and sportswomen. What a grand thing sport is. If every day when we leave the gym, your kids can say, gee, I had fun. Guy, I worked hard. Gee, I'm a little bit better as an offensive player. Then you've done your job, quote, as coach. Got, um, roll me a ball, ball, nice. All this thing is, is each one of our vehicle to teach a little bit about life, to teach about how to work hard and how to play together and how much fun this thing can be. And sometimes we let some numbers on a scoreboard distort what this game is about. You know, last Saturday night, it took us until Wednesday to get the odor out of this gymnasium. We shot 23% in our home gym. A lot of people ask, gee, you must have been unmerciful on them practice on Monday. Gee, you must have been all over them after the game. No, no. Our guys played hard. That, that, that game, the ball didn't go in the basket. We came out Monday and worked as hard as we ever do. We must go on. Sometimes in sport there are ups and there are downs, and our job as coaches is to minimize those ups and downs. 
Okay, how, how important it is for us to be positive with young men and young women? Okay, how important it is for us to be demanding of them and make them do things right? And that's why fundamentals are most important. I had a, a great opportunity as a young coach um, to go watch Coach Wooden's practices. Best coach ever, maybe in any sport. Okay? But he did things over and over. And you'd go watch 10, 10 NC championships. And they would do some of the drills that we're going to do with these young people right here. Uh, I had the opportunity to be um, in part partnership with Jack Ramsey in basketball camps, in fact, here at Willamette before I became the coach here. And it was amazing that there were times when during the season we'd have to meet and plan something for the summer, and maybe one of those times we'd meet after a game. And he would be saying, gee, our power forward didn't block out and he didn't do this. And I'd be saying, guy, our point guard didn't take care of the ball and he didn't do this. We weren't talking about, we were talking about the game. And the game is the same. Where you coach, where I coach, where everybody coach, the game is the same as doing things right, okay, doing things fundamentally right. You know, Coach Ramsey had a, a great comment after they won the National uh, World Championship. So I said, well, practice m makes perfect. No, perfect practice makes perfect. Okay, and if you can take a few drills and, and have them take home homework, to either to work on dribbling or ball handling or working on their shot, and they can work on their shot without the ball. We're going to give you a few of those drills uh, this morning. Okay? But the game comes down to fundamentals. And if we can teach them some fundamentals at this age, then that's going to help their growth and development as a player throughout their career, wherever that's going to be. If we can teach them how much fun it is to play and how much fun the game is and how much fun it is to be a sportsman and a sportswoman, then sometimes we don't get distorted by what those numbers say. That's the fun. That's the fun part of coaching. That's why I enjoy coaching more than ever before. And I've been doing it a few years now. Okay? But the game is fun. Okay? And make it fun for them. Make it fun for them above everything else. Okay? So we're going to talk about offensive fundamentals this morning. And that includes handling it, taking care of the ball. Our players here over and over take care of the basketball. Take care of the basketball. Turnovers in games are not two points, they're four points. Usually any kind of turnover, boom, the other team goes and they get a layup. It's, not, it's two points you could, your team could have, but now it's probably two points they're going to get. Take care of the basketball. Boy, our guys hear it over and over and over. Um, we had a pretty point guard last night have a heck of a game. Twelve assists, two turnovers. That's basketball. That's basketball. Okay. So it, one is to take care of the ball. Okay. The other one is to find a teammate and get a teammate a score. The other is catching the basketball. Most overlooked fundamental in the game, catching the ball. How many times balls are fumbled that are sure scores? Okay, so we put a lot of emphasis on taking care of the basketball. And we'll, we'll do some things right now. Uh, and, and certainly shooting the basketball, receiving the basketball. So that's what we're going to do this morning. We're going to work on taking care of the ball, squaring up and scoring with the basketball. And then, if you can, and then these drills, and you don't have very much time, but each time, if, if you could spend 15 minutes on fundamentals, okay, it would help the game. Okay? Something real quick. Uh, fellas, come here. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Okay? Right now, and this is just, you can just have a warm up. How much time do you have? Okay, right now you guys need to be inside the three-point line, okay? Everybody has to have their dribble going. Start your dribble, start your dribble, spread out, spread out, spread out, okay? You are it. You have to tag somebody else, okay? You're it. Tag somebody. Get your heads up, fellas. No, he's it. Can't turn it over. You cannot turn over the ball. All right, hold up. All right, now, how many dribbles right now are we taking with their left hand? <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, now, now, you're it, but everybody has to dribble with their left hand.
Hold up, stop. That's not bad. Not bad. Because we make them dribble with their left hand. No, they don't need a class. We'll get them later. Okay? They haven't done that good yet. Okay? So they can do it. They can do it. Let's, be, let's, let's have some things where they have to use their left hand. They all did. They did a good job. Okay? If uh, we need, right now, we need line. Right here. Hurry, 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 hurry. Good. Look at this. Yes. Guy there. Guy there. Facing the guy there. Guy there. Guy there. And you're right there. All right. Uh, get out. Kneel down on one knee. Hurry up. Facing this way. Okay? Dribble the ball with your right hand. Pound that dribble. Get it off to the side. Okay? Let's, do, let's make this game like. Very nice. See, he's making it game like. Putting that hand down there. So you don't have time to do this in practice. Okay? But you can show him one time and then say, hey, here's your homework. Go home and do your homework. Come back. Okay? Now wait. Let's, let's make this game like. Guys, look at this. Here's where you want the ball. You want this hand down here, protect the ball, and, and pound the dribble. Why? Because you've shortened the distance. They need to learn to pound the dribble. Now do the same thing with your left hand. Left hand. Get your head up. Get your head up. Get your head up. Okay, anytime I protect the ball, get your hand down, put your hand right here. And try to get your head up right now. Get your head up. Good. Pound that dribble. You cannot pound the ball too hard. Head up. Head up. Don't turn it over. Pound that dribble. Okay, hold up. Terminology. Hold the balls. A lot of times we tell kids, handle the ball with your fingertips. No. Okay? It's the fingers in the pad of your hand. I don't, I don't play basketball with my fingertips. Okay? And I want to learn to feel the ball. Well, are great ball handlers. They, they say they have a great feel of the ball. That's what I'm trying to do, is get a feel of the ball. So if I pound that dribble, okay, everybody's got to get a feel of the ball. Do it, left hand. Get your head up. Okay, knee a little bit so you're a little bit higher. Good, good, all right? Nice, okay? Pretty good protection of the ball. So we're learning, okay, to do things the right way. All right, hold the balls. Okay, now right-handed, you're gonna take the ball forward and bring it back, forward, bring it back, forward, bring it back, go. Head up. They need to get a feel of the ball, okay? They need to get a feel of the ball. So you only have court space, okay, certain amount of time. You can maybe be in the hallway. I don't know, be creative. What space do you have? Hey, I have coached at all levels. Elementary school, junior high, high school, this place, okay? But I, I know what it's like to have a little corner, okay? Organize it, be organized, okay? And, and use your time. All right, hold up. So now we need line. No, we'll do it this way. Just bring your lines right here. Hurry, 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 hurry. Come on, line, line, line. I like this. Guys are active and getting after it. You're right there, yes, okay? Good, okay? Scoot over a little bit. All right, now, you are going to dribble with your right hand over, okay? Stop there, and then we'll come back. Now, you're going to you're going to go half speed, get your head up and handle the ball. When he gets, when the guy in front of you gets past the basket, the next guy go. Ready? Go. Head up, head up. Half speed. Half speed. Half speed. Ball. We cannot let them be casual with the basketball. We cannot be cat. The ball is precious, fellas. This ball is precious. And I must take care of the ball. Okay? Pound that dribble. Take care of the basketball. Go. Head up. Head up. Head up. Yes, much better. Pound that dribble. Pound that dribble. There you go. Okay? Right now, you're going. Be tough with that ball. Okay? All right. Scoot over. One more time. Last time, be, be tough with the ball. Go. Head up. Okay, left hand back. Left hand back. Go. Keep that ball down. Keep that ball down. Keep that ball down. Good. Good. Okay, now. Right now. His dribble. See, and this is my job as a teacher. Not, not all players are the same. They're not all in the same maturation process. Each player is a little different. So because of time, if while they're going, I can take him and have him pound that dribble a little bit more, because right now his dribble's a little high. It's up here too high. You need to pound that dribble. Not a big thing, but it's correctable. 
Okay, right now we need to see those things and teach that. Okay, because he has good control, he just needs to pound a little bit more. So, as a warm up, for, for kids this age, you don't have to come in and ah, do any stretching. I watched a Pop Warner, went and watched a Pop Warner, I don't know what they call a little guy thing. They stretched and they stretched and they don't see him at recess. They step out the recess, start zoom, zoom, zoom. They don't need to warm up, stretch a muscle. Ah, they just want to go. So let me get, get in the gym and go, okay? All right, now, so we, we can take, and, and all in these drills, you have, you can spend 10 minutes dribbling. Over, back, control dribble, okay? When we do each one, we're gonna spend a little time explaining them, so it might take you a little longer the first time, but you, as a warm up, you can do ball handling. Five, ten, five minutes of your 45 minutes. Boy, it is cutting it short, okay? All right, so, so then we're gonna go to Magic Johnson move, okay? And this is skip dribble. And Magic Johnson was the best because he could control the ball. And it's just a power dribble. I'm dribbling the ball as hard as I can, advancing the ball without bringing my feet together. We would like right now, everybody put the ball down. Okay? I want, uh, guys, come out here and face me again. Hurry up, just leave the balls there. Face me. Okay, when I say stance, I want all of you to get in a basketball stance. And for offensive basketball stance, we would like for your feet to be shoulder width. Okay? Feet is shoulder width. If we can teach players in any sport to play in an athletic position, we've done the, a great service. Okay? In basketball, if I play with my feet too wide, I have affected my quickness. I can't move. If I play with my feet too close together, okay, I've affected my control. I'm always going to float. Okay? We would like, and everything we do in basketball, our players, we would like to play with our feet at shoulder width. Because if I play with my feet at shoulder width, when I pass it, when I shoot it, when I go to rebound, when I defend it, everything I do, I need to play with my feet at shoulder width. So we want your feet at shoulder width. Knees bent. Doesn't do any good to tell players, okay, to, to, to get down. What, what do young players do when we have to watch terminology? Okay, we tell our players, stay down. Okay, but they know when they stay down, they need to bend their knees. F knee flexion, bend your knees. Because a lot of times we tell, no matter what age group, get down. That's not getting down. Okay, we want to play here. So our back is at a slight angle. Always our head over the midpoint of our body. For now, we want your hands up here. Okay, hands up here. Okay? So, again, a couple minutes of practice. Great stance. That's perfect. Yes. Expose those fingertips. Bend your knees a little bit more. Head up, always my head, excellent, excellent. See, that's basketball position right there. Okay, basketball position, yes. Okay, spread those fingertips, excellent, okay? Now, when we do, even when we're, ah, oh, just like put your hands down, okay? Even when we're gonna dribble, we're gonna try to maintain this stance, okay? We're gonna try to maintain our feet at shoulder width. Get in line, get your ball, hurry. We need that, here we go. Okay, now you're gonna, you're gonna Magic Johnson. Skip dribble. Okay, when I skip dribble, I would like to maintain that stance. Feet shoulder width. I would like to take my, point my lead foot in the direction I'm going. Okay, and then I'm gonna take and I'm gonna pound the dribble. See, Magic was the best. Of course, it helps to be a 6'9 point guard, okay? Because he could do this and boom, boom. He'd see people, but he could always protect the ball. Okay, and for all players, this is most important, to learn to power dribble and take care of the ball. If, if you could teach all players to control dribble and then pick it up and be tough with the ball, man, would you cut down on turnovers. Because what, what young players do, they get tentative, they pick it up, turnover. Okay, be tough with the ball, take care of the ball. Okay, so everybody's going to be in skip dribble. Okay, so what I do is I pound the basketball and I leave my feet at shoulder width. Okay, don't bring, it's not, I don't bring my feet all the way together, okay? Same thing, first three guys go, when they get past here, the next three go. Ready? Go, head up, head up, not bad, not bad. Pound that dribble, good, 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 yes. Now, fellas, we need to be tougher with the ball. It's gotta be. Hey, this thing's precious. Pound that dribble, get your head up. It's not, ah. Okay, we're not in a parade, guys. Be tough with the ball. Here we go, go. Be tough with it. Protect the ball. Yes, protect the ball. Protect the ball. Take care of the ball. 
Be tough, be tough, head up. Nice job, okay? So we can real quickly, okay, make them get tougher with the ball. Okay, one more trip. Now, let's do this. While we're handling the ball, okay, while we're handling the ball, let's try to get our head up a little bit more. Get our head up a little bit more. Okay, here we go, ready, go. Be tough, be tough, be tough. Go, go, go. That's, oh yes! Protect it, yes, yes, are you gonna go left? Good, yes, we haven't got to that move, all right. Left hand back, left hand, left hand, head up, head up. Better, better, yes. You thought you were getting away from me. You thought you were getting away from me. Protect that thing. Good, all right. Okay, so we can make them work on that. Okay, so all we can do is a warm up drill over and back. Next drill, okay? Now, what you're gonna do now is you're gonna cross over with the ball. So you're gonna go right. When you get here, cross over, go left. You're gonna go half speed, half speed, okay? Now, Tim Hardaway, best crossover in basketball. Why? Why has Tim Hardaway had the best crossover? Anybody know? Anybody know? Because when he does it, the ball is right there, right there, right there. He keeps the ball low. So what you're gonna do, each person is gonna go at an angle. You're all gonna go right to start with. You're gonna go right with a dribble, then you're gonna go left, two or three dribbles. Here, keep the ball low. Keep the ball low, okay? Half speed. This is important. Man, there used to be a time when I wouldn't puff like this. I am getting old. It's very important for young players to teach them to slow down. Every, everything they think, everything is a relay, it's a race. <laughs> Go. Slow down. The quicker the player, the quicker the player, the more important it is for them to learn to slow down. Why is Hardaway so effective? Because he's so explosive. He gets someplace and he slows down. Boom! Then he goes again. Okay? So they, they don't get all this off balance stuff. Okay? Balance. We need to teach young players balance. Man, we're on our guys right now. We have some of our players that are not playing on balance. They're 22 years old, some of them, and they're off balance. Okay, so it doesn't make a difference what the level we must need to teach balance and control taking care of the basketball. Everybody got it? Tim Hardaway move, crossover dribble. Half speed, ready, go. Good, yes, I like that, good, good, yes, very nice. Good, good, good. Yes, yes, okay. Keep going, that's pretty good, here we go. Here we go, go, same thing coming back. Good, yes. Good, okay, nice. Now it's important for us, for them to understand uh, defense. Ball, defense, defense, defense. It's important for us to make them understand that when they make the move, basketball is played at angles. Basketball is not played at arcs and circles. It's played at angles. So if I have a good crossover and I beat him, I need to attack. It doesn't do me any good. It doesn't do me any good to make this move and then come clear out here because he's going to defend me. I need to learn to make the move and then attack the basket. I was going to score on you, okay? So we need to play at angles. Teach them to play at angles. So we always want to attack the basket. See, so we're doing this drill. Sometime for your warm-up drill, you could have you could have your line back here, ball. You're gonna dribble at me and use a crossover move and then go shoot your shot. Good, yes, yes, nice. So you could, you could do as a warm-up drill, work on dribble attack. So you can, you can change the warm-up every day a little bit so that you can work on fundamentals. So they have crossover, and that's pretty good. A Couple things that they need to realize. Always, when I go right, Okay, when I go right, I want to dribble right. When I go left, I want to dribble left. Some of them are doing this. Okay, some of them are dribbling this way, crossing over very high. Okay, that's one mistake. The second one is they'll dribble over here and then they keep it with their right hand a couple dribbles and then put it to their left. It's got to be immediate. Okay, 
right to left. Okay, now, again, one of the ways for them to work on this. Come, guys, come forward just a little bit. Okay, turn around. Okay, now, here's what you're gonna do with the ball. You're just gonna go here, three dribbles right hand, quickly to your left. Three dribbles left, back the other way, okay? Hurry, 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 hurry. Head up, head up, head up. Get your head up. Some more homework, okay? Some more homework. I don't know where it is, hold the balls. I don't know where it is, okay? Whether it's in the backyard, in the driveway, hopefully not in the basement or in the room, okay? But somewhere we need to find a space for a person to just take the ball and work on their game a little bit. They need, they need a little bit of space, wherever it is. And they can do these drills right here. They can start to work on their shot just by shooting the ball to themselves on working on shot. And we'll get to that in a little bit. Okay, all right, come back in line. Hurry up. Okay, so right now we have skip dribble, we have crossover dribble. Okay, and hopefully, and hopefully that you can do both of those both ways. It's very important, okay, to learn to be able to go both right and left with both of those moves. Okay, once you master those, once you master those, then you can do inside, outside. Defense. Okay, so if I have beaten the person that's guarding me with a crossover dribble, okay, then I can do inside, outside. And all I do is I act like I'm gonna cross over and I come right back the other way. Very easy move to teach. Very easy. They take the ball and they push like they're gonna cross over and they come right back. To... Now you don't have to make me look bad. <laughs> the defensive clinic is next week, okay? Good job, good job. It's way to be tough. See, and that's true. See, anytime you do offensive drills, if there's a defender involved, that defender better be working, okay? Because what's that gonna make me do right now? Take you out of care of the ball. I'm not gonna let him make, let him make me look bad two times in a row. Crying out loud, you're too tough defensively. So inside, outside, take him to the basket. Okay, everybody's got this? I want you to, right there. You're gonna take the ball and you're gonna go inside, outside. Inside, outside, do that several times, try it. Good, try to get your head up on everything you do. Inside, out, very nice. Yes, good, okay? Yes, I like, oh, I was gonna say very good. Nice left hand, but I forgot, you're left-handed. Good job. That means he was really doing a good job in the dribbling drills. Very good job. Okay, inside, very nice. It's just ball control. Okay, hold up. Don't let them get lazy. See right away what happens? Okay, they start to handle the ball and they start to go up. Want to play like this. Want to stay down, fellas, you want to stay down. Okay, now you, what you're going to do is you're going to make three inside-outside moves. One. Two, three, okay? Inside, outside, ready, go. Fake, slow down, slow down. Good, ball control, good, nice, very nice, excellent move, excellent move. Okay, he has, he's got a move for his game, okay? How complicated the drip moves had to be? I don't think very complicated, if you're tough with the ball. You can do, Okay, warm up dribble over and back. Uh, skip dribble over and back. Inside, outside, over and back. Okay, uh, to use those moves. And you could add to it. Uh, he has a spin move, uh, he had a spin move, and spin move is just reverse dribble. Okay, if you're gonna teach that, a couple things that are important. That they, players need to learn to either, when they do it, to take and pull the ball back and go at an angle, or they can go bounce, bounce, and pick the ball up and go at an angle. Okay, a few of them are doing this. They're taking the ball and they're dribbling and they're going like that. So they're either gonna get called for carrying or this defender's gonna come through. A couple of them did through the legs. Okay, that's good. A, a great move to teach players, and this will be the last one we'll work on right now, is pull back. So that if I get to defense, if I get to defense or I get double teamed, let's put two defenders, if I get double teamed, then what I would do is get to the thing and pull back. See, what happens a lot of times, the players get to pressure and they stop and they pick up the ball. Okay, what I like to do is get to, get to pressure back up and now try to go the other way. Pull back move. And all it is is get to the defense, pull back, 
and then go. I can't pull back and then pick up the ball. All right, we'll try that. Everybody see this? What you're gonna do, okay, watch my footwork again, okay? You're gonna go pull the ball back and go the other way. Pull the ball back, go the other way. Everybody try that. Here we go, here we go. Thank you. Here we go, go ahead. Right, balance, balance, balance. Oh, my fault, my fault. Here we go. Good. All right, now, it's not this. Okay, it's not straighten up. See, some of them are doing this. It's pull back and go. Pull. Your name? Huh? Come on, Kyle. Okay, you do, do it as we're going to play at this basket. I'm going to defend you. You're going to go at this basket, okay? You pull back. When I commit, you go by me and go lay it in, okay? All right. You're going to come right-handed. There you go. Okay, pull back. Yes, go hit that shot. Excellent, excellent. Okay, that's all right. It's very important, very important when players finish a play, right there, he missed that shot. Kyle, if you miss a shot, get it and put it back in. If you miss that shot, get it and put it back in. If you miss that shot, get it and put it back in. Whatever it takes to put the ball in a basket. Go, again. Okay, make sure you're working on the move. Pull back, cross over, go. Put it in. Yes, very nice. Put it in. Very nice, okay? Make them end on a success. Okay, don't just shoot and stop. Shoot and go get it. Put it back up. Shoot and go get it. We tell our players to run the basket. Use the backboard whenever you can. But this is a nice move for him. Again, Kyle, this is a good move. See, you're on, hey, you're on videotape right now. Got to hit the shot. Pressure's on. Yes. It's all right. Okay, play, 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 play. Nice. Again, come on. You got to knock this down. That's it. Juke me. Make a move on me. Ah, you forgot to pull back. See, he's, he thinks my defense is so bad he doesn't even need any other moves right now. He's just going to take me, okay? I, I know, I know my defense is weak, but make the move, okay? Yes, go hit that shot. Yes, very nice. Excellent, excellent play. So he's got to move. He's got to move, okay? And now, I think 10 minutes, okay, first time, well, it took me 30, okay? Practice that hole, let's go, the gym's closed, okay? But is this more important running plays? I think so. I think so, okay? If you're in it for the wrong reasons, if you're worried about what some numbers on a scoreboard say, it's not worth your time. But if you're interested in making them players and having them develop, it's worth the time. That's all of our jobs. And it's like our team right now. We're, we're struggling a little bit. We are struggling a little bit right now. Is it going to pay dividends? I think so. Okay. Are we playing hard right now? Yeah, we're playing hard. Are we doing all the things we want to do offensively? No. Are we putting a lot of time in fundamentals? Yes. Is that going to make us a better team in January and February? Yes. That's what's important. Okay. Are we working hard and having fun every day in practice? Definitely yes. We're working very hard. Okay. And our guys have fun with the game. But the game is fundamentals. So that's worth your time. It's worth your time. Okay, now. So, so you can have, very shortly, some dribble drills. If you want to include some pivoting, all we need is one ball in each line right now. Okay, each guy in the front has the ball. Okay, so you can go boom, boom, boom from one to the other. All right, right now you're gonna dribble out. Okay, you're gonna dribble out past this black line, two foot stop, reverse pivot, pass back the next person in line. Okay, I want everybody right now without a ball, set the ball down, I want you to follow me. Okay, two foot stop, we're in our basketball stance. Okay, you're gonna right foot reverse pivot, just pivot like that. Okay, now, come back, just come the same way. Now, it's very important, fellas, how do we wanna be in a basketball stance? Knees bent, feet shoulder width, back at a slight angle, hands right here. Okay, now we're gonna right foot reverse pivot, stay down, pivot. Okay, you're gonna, come again, okay, you're gonna right foot reverse, it means you're gonna go back, there you go. Okay, everybody got it? Face this way. Okay, I'm just gonna say pivot. Ready, get in your stance. Pivot. Good. Okay, we want to make sure. Come here. You come right here. Okay, you're going to right, so you're this way, right foot, reverse. Come back. Okay, you're going to leave your right foot down. Okay, here we go. Right foot, reverse. There you go. There you go. Okay? So we need to do quick, and we have to maybe do a little bit of teaching, and hopefully, if somebody else is helping you a little bit, I like this. Is everybody else, re oh, yes. Okay? They're still in stance. Pretty good. All right, facing this way. 
Standing up, you can relax real quick. When I say stance, I want you to get in a stance. Okay, and I'm gonna say pivot. You're gonna, you're gonna right foot, feet shoulder width. Right foot, reverse pivot, okay? Right foot, reverse pivot. All right, stance. Pivot, good. Again, pivot back, just pivot. you can do just this, okay? Pivot, pivot back, pivot, pivot back. All right, stance, pivot, good. Pivot back, pivot, pivot back. Okay, now you're gonna go left foot. Okay, you're gonna go left foot. Left foot, reverse pivot. Left foot, left foot, okay? Stay, stay low. See, we always say to our players, stay low throughout the pivot. We have short terms. Stance, okay, head up. Stand up, fellas. It's like, if the, the more concise we can make the game, the more we can simplify the game and the terminology, the easier it is for them to understand. There is nothing, I think, tougher for young players. Um, if we went to a, a youth baseball game and one coach is saying, open up, get your left foot open. And maybe mom or dad in the stands are saying, get your right elbow up. Okay? And somebody else says, uh, make sure you turn your head towards the pitcher. Okay? And somebody else says, well, you got to get your back foot with power. And all we do is mess them up. Sometimes we need to let them play. It's at the free throw line, okay? Let them get there and don't give them 500 things to think about, okay? Hopefully they've spent some time working on it and maybe they can shoot 10 free throws before they go to bed every night without the ball, without the ball, doing it the right way. So in the game, they do it the right way. Let's simplify the game for them. Okay, we want to teach, but not, let's not clutter their heads. There are some things you're going to see in a minute. We just tell our players, hey, just play. Okay? Just play. All right? So now we have each area. We have, you have a ball. You have a ball. You have a ball. You can pick it up. Okay? All right. Now, here's what you're going to do. You're going to right hand dribble out, two foot stop, right foot reverse pivot, pivot back to the next, pass back to the next person in the line. Okay? When that person gets it, you dribble out. Okay? All right, now, as soon as you pass, let's do this. You're going to go, you're going to go to that line. Both of you are going to go to that line so we have more people to pass to. Scoot down, scoot down, scoot down. Bring this line down. All right, now stay there. All right, so we're going to dribble out. Right hand dribble, right foot reverse pivot, pivot back to the next person in line. Okay, going half speed. Ready, go. Head up, good, two foot stop, good. Right foot reverse pivot, pivot back. Next person dribble out. Good, yes. Here we go. As soon as you stop, pick up the ball. Good, good. Here we go, here we go. Good. Pick up the dribble. Okay, here we go. When you get there, as soon as you stop, pick up the dribble. So now you're gonna left hand dribble. Two foot stop, left foot reverse pivot. Left foot, everybody try left foot right there. Try left foot, just stay just from where you are. Stay down, reverse. Okay, and remember, well reverse always means we're gonna turn back, we're always gonna turn back, that's it. Always gonna turn backwards. Okay, try it again. Try it again, reverse. Good, very nice. Okay, dribble out, left hand dribble. Now, it's important fellas, two foot stop. Good two foot stop, left foot reverse pivot. Okay, here we go. Good, yes. Left hand dribble, good. Left foot, reverse pivot. Left foot, there you go, there you go, there you go, yes. Okay, the number one thing it's learning to teach to stop on balance, that's number one. Then a pivot and then pass and to combine it, okay? Now, some of the time what we do with our players, what we do with our players when we do the three lines, we'll go like this. We'll start off here and you can do this in your dribble drills. We dribble out. Pivot, pivot back, player goes again. We stop, free throw line, half court free throw line. So that we, we go down, right foot reverse pivot, coming back, we go left foot reverse pivot. Pivot, pivot back, so we get in those stops. The next thing we do is stride stop. Okay, and stride stop means that I stop with one foot in front of the other, and now I pound the basketball, okay? Everybody needs a ball, we're back in our three lines. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Okay, line, line, line. This time. 
This time, you're going to come out. I'm going to yell stop, OK? You're going to come out. When I yell stop, you're going to come into a stride stop, one foot in front of the other. Pound that dribble head up. OK, I'm going to say go. You go, and the next guy goes, OK? When I say stop again, stride stop, power dribble. That's power dribble. Protect the basketball head up. Got it? Questions? Go. Stop. Pound that dribble. Very nice. Get this hand down and protect the ball. Get your head up. OK, don't hunch up. Have that back at an angle. Protect the basketball. Be tough. Don't let me steal the ball. Good, yes. Get that, yes, head up. That's it, very good. Go. Head up. Head up, protect the ball, stop. Protect, pound the dribble, look up ahead. Look ahead. Here's, the, here's the game, get that hand and protect the ball. Good. Get this hand out here and protect the basketball. Good, head up, where are you going? Okay, head up, go. Stop. Okay, don't get your feet too wide. Head up, where are you looking? Look up at the floor, go. Stop. Head up, go. Coming back, left hand. Left hand, go. Stop. Head up, good. Look, look up the floor. See, always look up the floor. See a teammate. See the floor. See the court. Go. Stop. Head up, head up, head up, head up. Go. Stop. Go. Stop. Go. And you can change it. You could go. Open hand go, close fist stop. They just so they have some visual things to do. The, the next one we'll do, this last one we'll do on the dribbling is stride, stop, active pivot. And I think this is the most important thing you can teach them, okay, is to come to a stride, stop, establish a pivot foot, and then be tough with the ball so they don't get tied up, they don't get a five second count, that they look ahead. So in a game situation, the dribbler might be coming like this, and they pick it up, and instead of stepping back, and doing this and getting in trouble and trying to make a tough pass, okay, now they stop, they est they've established a pivot foot, and they're tough with the ball. Okay, he's got to be tough with the ball, okay? Ready? So you're going to stop. You're going to stop here, and you're going to stop here, okay? You have to stop for a count of five. One, you're counting to yourself. Two, three, four, five. You understand what you're going to do? So here's what you're doing. You're going to dribble out to here, stop, and now you're going to pivot with the ball. You're going to be tough with the ball. All right, ready, go. Tough, tough. Pick it up, no toe, oh, oh, oh. come back. I didn't do a good enough job explaining that. First thing he did, young players do, he picked up the ball and he turned his back to the defense. Okay, I must look always. When I do active pivot, I must always look up the floor. If I turn my back, I'm in trouble. Always look up the floor, okay? Here we go, ball game, play. Stop. Be tough with the ball. Be tough. Yes. Yes. Don't no, Yes. Be tough with the ball. Rip that thing through. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Here we go. Be tough with the ball. Be tough with the ball. Yes. That's nice. Don't do the same thing every time. Good. All right. Go. Be tough with the ball. Be tough with the ball. That was to five. What math are you in? He's in advanced math. There's no question. He's in advanced math. Okay. Here we go. Yes, be tough, be tough, don't let me knock it away. Yes, 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 good, all right. Very important, very important for them to learn to be tough with the ball, okay, tough with the ball. Pivot, okay, be tough with the ball. Please, please, you're on defense. You're puffing more than I am. Please don't teach this, please. There are some coaches in, the ba in basketball that teach this, get up on me defensively, to do that. Don't teach that. No place in basketball to do that. Okay. Uh, I was coaching high school basketball a few years ago. We had a great defender. Okay. Full house. He's up in this guy's face. Okay. Playing great defense in his own body space. Okay. And some of the coach taught to take the ball through somebody's face. Two teeth gone. No place for that. Winning worth that? I don't think so. I don't think so. What's this game about, okay? It's for kids, and kids are, you're gonna coach kids, I coach kids. Looking at people in the paper with green hair, some guys are kids at any age, and maybe we don't know what the maturity level is of everybody, okay? But, and at the same time, I'm on this, each person is a little bit different, okay? They're all individuals. I don't. 
I know, I know in sport you're supposed to say, well, I, te- I treat all my team members the same. I don't. Each one of these people a little bit different. Each one of them are a little bit different. Okay? And if you coach your own son or daughter, they're a team member. Okay? Don't take what they do in a basketball court home. Don't take it home. Okay? Don't think that they need to be more perfect than somebody else. Okay? Make sure you make the game fun for them especially. Sometimes we do that. Okay? A little more, I don't want to say critical, but we're more, a little more intense with our own kids. And we put a little bit too much pressure on them. Okay? I, I had a chance to coach my son uh, through high school, and fortunately he ended up being an all-state player. But he had a great ability. He, know when, he knew when to turn me off. Nod his head, yeah, sure, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> He'd keep firing. Okay? But it was all said and done uh, after the final game when we lost in the state tournament at the refrigerator about 2 o'clock in the morning after we came home from a very tough loss. He put his arm around me and said, Dad, he said, I would not have wanted any other way. How special that is. See, that's, that's still special to me today. He and I are still teammates. See, I, I, I've been doing this for 30 years. And I cannot tell you, I don't think I could tell you five scores. I couldn't tell you five scores. I, somebody asked me, well, what's, what's my coaching record? I have no idea. I say that sincerely. I don't know what my coaching record is. But I can tell you the name of every player that's played for me in 30 years. And I treat all my players, kids I have at camp, wherever, as my sons and daughters. Don't forget that. that Every member of your team is your son or daughter. And if we treat every player as our son or daughter, you're going to do the best thing for those kids. That's what this game is about. And especially in today's society, I don't want to stand on any soapbox, but how much it is to rationalize, make excuses, put the blame on somebody else. Whereas this game is the greatest game there is right now because it teaches us teamwork. It teaches us to set a screen for a teammate and make a play for somebody else. It teaches us to play team defense and help my buddy or my gal or whoever it is. Make it a team. Make it a team. That's what makes this game so special. If I have the ball and I pass the ball, essentially I can do three things. Okay? I can pass and cut to the basket. Oldest playing basketball, give and go. I can pass the ball and go screen on the ball. Or I can pass the ball and go screen somebody else. There's anything else I can do. Well, I guess uh, if you have, well, if you have a great player, they can dribble right here and crank it up. If it goes in, you don't need any of the plays. Let them fire. That's not basketball. So what, whatever you're going to be in, whatever line you're going to be in, one, four, one, three, one, you can set up a couple plays. Okay? If this is a good score, good shooter, maybe I might want to pass there and come screen for him. And you come off and shoot your shot. Come off of me and shoot your shot. Good. That play works. That's a pretty good play. That's a pretty good play. Okay? Where's my left hand? Come here. Okay, you have a ball. Um, You set your ball down. Here you are. You're right here. You're going to come right up here. And you're going to set a pick right there. You're going to dribble down. And now you're going to come off of him. And you're going to come over here and you're going to shoot your shot. Okay? All right, here we go. See what we've got. Good. Okay? Good? Yes, I like it. Okay? That's a play. Come again, guys. Hurry up, hurry up. Again, same play. Good. Good. I like it. I like it. Good? Tell you, this, this is a tough screen. Come here. Come again. He came right here, set a great screen. If you teach screening, he's perfect. Feet shoulder width, hands locked here so he doesn't, okay? Sometimes we, we, we shouldn't have players watch NBA. This is not a legal screen. He, he set a great screen. Okay, his hands were right here, tough. Our ball handler, first name? Aaron. Aaron did this. He dribbled over here a little bit, 
to set up the defense, and he came off of here. Okay? And he also came off, anytime you're doing any screening, you have to emphasize to them, shoulder to shoulder. Screens don't work unless he comes shoulder to shoulder. Come over here looking for his shot. Okay, now, one correction we can make. When I screen, if I'm screening you, you're guarding Aaron. Okay, come by Aaron, but don't shoot it. Okay, if I set this screen now, oh geez, heck of a defender. Okay, now, what you were doing, and you can do this some of the time, what you were doing is called a slip screen. You went this way. It would help, since you're, you're a stud, okay, set the screen and now roll to him so you can see the ball. Okay, can you do that? This time you're gonna give it to him. So you're gonna set your screen, okay, you're gonna set your screen and then roll looking for the ball. You get it, finish your play at the basket. Okay, here we go, here we go. Good, I like it, yes, nice, okay. Uh, first name? Grant. Grant, you, you have an idea why you missed that shot? No. Huh? No. It's important to teach young players to be a vertical player at the basket. What he did was he, all his momentum was going this way, ball came off. Anytime players get the ball inside the dotted line, they need to learn to gather, to get back, because what are they? They, 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 they have their legs straight and they go forward. How important it is to, to teach balance, be a vertical player. So when you finish, be vertical. Same play again, we gotta have a basket, guys. Here we go. Here we go, here we go. Good, ah, 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 come back. It's all right, it's okay. Some of the time, there's gonna be times in the game where he's gonna be like this and he's gonna be able to step that way. Okay, that's, that's gonna be okay. Okay, but he has to learn both ways right now. Okay, there are some times in a game Players, we, we let players do what feels comfortable. What's going to be the most productive for him? And, and maybe in the past, he's been okay of slip screening and step into the basket. Okay, but if he will, because he's pretty start, strong guy. I have a bruise to prove it. Okay, God, he hit me hard. Okay, so if he just rolls to the basket and finds the basketball, give him a good pass. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Good, good. Yes, that's a basket. Very nice. Okay, very nice. Way to use the back, backboard. If you can, you come off this screen. Try to give it to him a little sooner. Come on, we gotta, we gotta have perfection, guys. It's gotta be a perfect play. Here we go. Nice. And a bounce pass might even be better. And a bounce pass might even be better. One more time. Here we go, perfect play. Every play must be a perfect play. Here we go. Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Still, you're in, you're in you're gonna, I, I'm guarding him, you're gonna screen me. Okay, because you sometimes as a screener, you can't just come up here and stand. Okay, you might have to move a little bit. Okay, you gotta set a good screen on me. Good, set me up. Yes, roll, 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 oh! Okay, now, see it takes a little bit of time, spacing. You need to come out here and get a little bit of space and give him the ball. Okay, I want you to do this a few times. Set your screen. Okay, he's gonna come off, turn this way. Again, oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, turn this way. Got it? Huh? Yeah. Okay. All right, here we go. Good, nice way to set it up. Roll, roll. I can't get to you. Yes, basket. See, I'm going to tell you, you're having the ball. We got we to gotta have a basket, fellas. Yes, good screen. Good. Play. That's a basket. Finish, finish, finish. Finish. Good. We got to have a hoop. Come on, guys. Is your four or five minute practice up yet? Probably, okay? You gotta go on the street. Here we go, here we go. Be tough, good screen. Yes, finish the play, finish the play. That's a basket. Finish, finish, that's all right. Again, let him have it, finish it, okay? Come on, come on, come on. Right now, don't ever worry about a miss, okay? I guarantee you, if you want, do you wanna become a player? You do? Don't worry about a miss. See, how, how easy it is in today's math class, when somebody makes a mistake, what, they take out their eraser, or they hit the delete button, and it's gone. Sometimes young players, they see the miss, and the next play, they still see the last miss. Our players here, always here, it's always the next play. Don't worry about the last play. They okay, learn from the last play, but it's the next play. Don't let them worry about a miss. Guys, we can't worry about a miss. We gotta, we gotta have a product. Come on, let's go. Good. Good, yes, yes, good, finish, finish. Hey, I know you could have played for us last Saturday night. Okay, we gotta have a basket. 
Here we go. Here we go. Good. Good. You're all right. Okay, come here. You're all right. Block out. Nobody else is in the gym. Just you and the ball. Make that. You and the ball. Yes, you and the ball. Come on, come on, come on. You and the ball. You and the ball. Nobody else is in here. You and the ball. You and the ball. You and the ball. Finish, finish, finish. You and the ball. It's you and the ball. You and the ball. Yes. Put that in. You and the ball. Yes. You and the ball. Good. Let's go do it. Yes. That's it. Good. Okay. Now, if you could teach, and you could, again, do this as a quick offensive drill, is when they catch the ball, to learn everything they do is to square up to the basket. Everything they do is to face the basket. And it doesn't make any difference what foot they use as a pivot foot. Establish the pivot foot and square up. Ball. Okay. Pete Newell, greatest coach of all time, one of the greatest coaches of all time, says always inside foot is your pivot foot. Okay, because it puts you close to the basket. Okay, a lot of different rationale. John Wooden, 10 national championships. If I'm a right-handed shooter, use my left foot because that leaves my, my, my right foot, my dominant foot free. Two pretty good coaches. One says one thing, one says the other. We tell our players, do what's comfortable. Do what makes you successful. Try to learn to do both. At, oh, my. Make sure this is on tape, Alan. Okay? This, this is great. Again, perfect position. People watch. And when you have somebody on your team that's doing the right way, let them be the role model. Let the other players see the right way to do it. Okay, this is perfect. Okay? Oh, my. Okay? Right away. There he was. He's ready to score. Balance. Yes. Good job. I like that pump fake. Already got the Larry Bird. That's, that's, Harry, that's the next clinic. Okay? We need to do next time. Whenever we do it, we're going to do shooting. Okay? And then moves off of this. See, right away, he's written Larry Bird move. He already had that little pump fake in. Okay? If we, if we teach players how to get balance, shoot it, and then, and then get that pump fake in and go someplace, then they got a, a light, nice little arsenal. Uh, let's have a nice hand for these people. Every day I can hardly wait to go to practice because I have some gents that want to work hard and we have fun with basketball. Have a great season. Make the game fun for your players and make the game fun for yourself. Thank you very much. Nice job, guys. Nice job. Good work. Good job. Good job. Nice job.